Hi, welcome to this new video tutorial following uh, the question from Sergei Manov regarding the difference between structure and union in structure text. I have decided to make uh, this new video here regarding structure versus um, union in structure text using the IDE uh, codices uh, development environment. So before going to the difference is what mentioned that um, both the union and the structure will allow the user to combine different data types under a single name and that both they are conceptually uh, defined in the same way so what does that mean so if we go to our applications here, the first time we may create, um, in order to create the union and structure in codices, what we do is that we right click, our, we create a new project, right click our application, then if we add a new object here, DUT objects here, we can add our structure name, select the structure here, add the name, then add, or if you want to create a union, we select the union keywords and add the name of uh, the union then after that one we have either something like this and you can see here that here we are grouping the height the age and the name under a single name here which is uh, uh, the structure hello and after grouping same things go here for the union we group the three members here under the same name which is union hello and after grouping them this we can access individual elements of either our structure or union by <coughs> first coming here define some new variables of the type user defined type that we have created earlier and after that one if you write my union here my structure you can see here that you have age, height, age, and name that you can access in our program. So that's what I mean by grouping everything under a single name. Here we can see my structure here, but with different members that we access by using dot. And you can also see how that they are conceptually defined the same way: type, structure, and structure and type here type union and union and type so this is a conceptual design which is the same and the next thing that we have to do despite the same conceptual design how do they differ they differ in the way they functions and especially the way that memory is allocated to their members and that leads us to this table that i have prepared here Regarding the keywords, in structure we have stroke, and in union we have unions. Here are the keywords difference. That we have structure here, and union here. The next thing is about the size of the structure will be equal, at least greater than or equal to the sum of the members, of its members. Why in the union here the size of the union will be at least greater or equal to the size of its largest, largest member? Sorry, and then in two cases, possibly cross uh, some padding depending on the controller and the compile options. And when we have a 32 bit system or 64 bit system here, you may have some if you run the same program in two systems, you may have some differences, some padding differences, some padding size differences. And that one, if you want to see those remaining things, it's better that we just, uh, we just go to our program here. <coughs> go to simulation, then lock in yes download so you can see here that everything is zero zero not yet started 
and let's go to our tables here yeah you have the size we come to that one and that the memory locations each member within the structure is assigned a unique memory locations in the storage area meanwhile here in the union here all of them will share all member all in, will share all uh, memory location will be shared by individual member of the unions and if we change one value in the structure it will not affect other members why if we change a value of the member in the union it will affect other members of the union and individual member in the uh, structure is access at a time meanwhile here only one member is accessed at a time here all members are accessed at a time and here regarding the initializations here where we can start is that several members of the structure can initialize arms why only one member in a union can be initialized what does that mean if we start our program here we have started our program if you go here to the structure you can see that all members of the unions of the structure sorry are initialized you have hello 10 1.5 hello 10 1.5 what about the union and what does our table say our table say that several member can initialize ons and here only one member can be initialized will that be true we open our union you can see hello 10 1.5 but here you have no 0 1.5 only one member is initialized and that's what it means then regarding the size of um, the structure and the union you can see that the size of the structure here is higher greater than the size of the union and when we come to the size of the structure here we have name is 81 plus h2 83 plus height here 4 which 87 and here we have 88 and the one other one here is probably from these points here we have possibly plus probably some padding depending on the compiler and the compile options you have 32 bit 64 bit system or the manufacturer different plc that we use may have some differences but in general here will abide that okay it will be at least greater than or equal to the sum of the size of its member 87 we have 88 which is true and here the largest at least greater or equal to the largest of size of its member so the union here is 84 and we can see that the name here is 81 which is the largest member and we have 84 and possibly this three is coming from also these points here that are our dimensions so here is a uh, a bit uh, what i wanted to share and regarding how we get the size here uh, so you can see these are the size as you size up here to get the size of the name the size of the h the size of the height and the size of the whole structure the same thing is going here we use size of here to get uh, the size of each different member of the unions and the size here of the whole union and what is also important to share here will be um, if we just log out you can see here in the definitions here how we have defined 
uh, the size of the unions and also the size the size of different members here are the definitions so yeah that is it and here are some few differences i hope that uh, i've uh, tried to answer your questions and for anyone who is watching this video if you have if you have not yet subscribed to the channel feel free to do that and you have if any comment do not hesitate to drop it half a time we'll discuss it and stay tuned for the next tutorial bye <coughs>